Okay, guys, I'm going to start with a diagram because so I'm a visual person. Um, so here's our peaks. Oops, I apologize. Our hills and our valleys, so our peaks, hills, valleys. So that's a valley, hill. So to go up a hill and to do the valley, there's 19 in every one. 19. So <clears throat> you do your batches of 19, however, um, why do you want your afghan to be? So you do 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, whatever. And then when you get to the end, plus 5. That is for the ending and then the chain 3 at the beginning for the chain 3 counts as the double crochet. So let me show you what I mean why it's 19, 19, 19, and then 5. Um, and this is my pattern, so love it or leave it. I guess is my thought, my theory. Okay, let's start. So you are gonna need yarn, obviously. And I started with black, and then I went to my darkest blue. And I have, let me just pull it up here. So wrong end, and that's my working end. So I started with black, let me zoom out so you can see what I mean here. So I start with black, and there's two rows of every color. So I started with black, and then I went to my darkest color of blue, or your darkest color that you're choosing to make, and you don't have to do it in varying shades of that color, um, of that color, this is what I chose to do, because I wanted to make the one that I saw on TV. So I did the darkest blue, then, um, so there's one, two, three, four shades of blue, and then I went to white, just to break it up in your eye. That's what she did as well. Um, I thought it was a perfect breaking point, and then you start over with your black. Again, so there's one, or two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve rows before you start over. So twelve, and then it repeats. So, um, you could do it any way you want. You know, you could be like a three and then a repeat. It just depends on how short you want it to look in your eye, basically. When you're looking at it. So here we go with our tutorial. So you'll need scissors, scissors. You'll need an eye, crochet hook, 5.5 millimeter. Okay, so I have my two sets of 19 plus five. So we're gonna do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Let me come closer so you can see what I'm doing. Not too close. Okay, so. 14 from hook, so there's our first, second, third, 14 from the hook. So we're gonna do a double crochet into that stitch there. So with our chain three and our next double crochet, that puts two stitches into that one stitch. So then we're gonna chain two and we're gonna skip three. So one, two, three, we're gonna skip and we're gonna go into that fourth chain and do two double crochets. And we're gonna chain two. And we're gonna skip three. And we're going to go on the fourth and do two double crochets. And this is where it changes, so don't go ahead. You are gonna to wanna to chain two, but let me stop you here. Um, so, when you're doing this, you're always going to have two sets going up the hill and two sets going down to the valley. So this is the peak of, this is the peak. And so it's a shell stitch, so you do two double crochets, you chain two, and you do two double crochets back into that same stitch. And then I'll show you why you do that, how beautifully it will want to come down, see how it goes up. And then it wants to come down. That's exactly what we want it to do. So then we're going to repeat what we just did a moment ago. So chain two, skip three chains. One, two, three, go into your fourth. And do two double crochets. Chain two. So this will be our second set. Skip three, go into the fourth. This is the bottom of the peak now. So here is where, so it changed up there after you did your two and it changes down here. So you got your second one there 
and you aren't going to want to do any chains here because we want it to we're going to the bottom and going back up now so what you're going to do instead of chaining two a pair you're going to skip two stitches down here and go into the third and do two double crochets down here and it won't look like much on this first row because it looks pretty flat but what it's doing is it's going to go like that and I will point out the valley on my afghan so they're going to chain two skip three and go into the fourth and do two double crochets and that's our second one going up the hill because there's the valley on the one side and that would be one two going up the hill to go ahead and go to the peak so chain two and we're going to skip three one two three go into the fourth and do two and this is the peak or the shell stitch so two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in the same stitch now we're going back down the other side so chain two and then um, skip three and whoops two double crochet in that fourth stitch and then chain two and skip three and two double crochet here and this is the ending as you can see of my chains so what you do here is going to be different you're going to, you're going to do the same throughout but when you get to the end of your row this is where it's going to change up a little bit let me show you on the afghan so i've done all let me zoom out I've done all of my work and I got to the end and I did the two here which is the two here right there one two and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip three stitches and go into the fourth stitch and that makes a nice ending toward this side is straight so we just got done with that so we're going to chain two and we're going to skip three stitches and go into that last stitch. Whoops, sorry. Chain two. And this is our last stitch, which will be your last stitch on your starting chain row as well. And you're going to do one double crochet right here. But you only want to start the double crochet. You don't want to um, chain over or, sorry, or yarn over and pull through. This is where you want to change your colors. So, um... I'm going to grab some white. So we've done our chain three is our turning chain and you're going to want to yarn over. Let me zoom in a little bit but not too much so you can see. So yarn over like you're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to skip this whole thing and you're going to skip this these two right here. And you're going to yarn over and you are going you're going to see more double crochets down here but for that first row you are going to yarn over and go into the third chain I bring it up to the camera or the second chain excuse me yarn over and you're going to go into the second skipped chain of that second space so there's a second skip chain because there's the first one you're going to go into that skipped chain so yarn over and go into that second skip chain and go over here and it you'll want it to cinch it down like this no yank on it but it's okay if it pulls on it because that's what we want it to do and do a regular double crochet and then do another one in there just like that and chain two and then you're going to do the same thing here so you're going to skip this one we're going to continue as normal now so we're going to skip this one let me zoom back in now but i've showed you that skip this one and go into here and do two double crochets oh, some of the white one and two and chain two and we're skipping three so you know when you've done your two you're going to go into this space up here at the top of the peak so we're going to do two double crochet chain two two double crochet in that space chain two two double crochet in the space and you can kind of see it starting to form 
there and we chain two and go into that second one again and do two double crochet so you're going into the row beneath the row that you are on okay chain two pull some more yarn and to that second one here oops sorry out of the camera and then we're going to chain two so now we have two we're going down to that bottom of the valley now so at the bottom of the valley you are going let me show you here on a sample of my a sample on my actual afghan okay let me turn it because it kind of got crumpled a bit turn it this way and zoom out okay so basically what we're doing here we're going this way hopefully you can see let me move that so the white table's behind it you can get a clear shot of what i'm trying to say so we just did our our peak right here and so we just did these two these two right here and so um, now we're not going to chain but we're going to go into that next space so there's that opening and it creates that open pocket here so we did our chain two and we're going to go into here and continue so we're going to skip this and we're going to go into here let me zoom back in and move the afghan while i bought the camera and we're going to go into the second space here it makes more sense on the third row because on the first row um, you're just basically kind of going into that starting chain um, which is kind of confusing uh, hold on that doesn't look right oh wait a minute yeah it does it looks right it looks weird at first you're like oh no there's a bubble and that's what it just threw me um, but it's okay don't panic chain two and we're going to go into the second one here and do two double crochets. About the fifth row is when it really starts to take shape. Chain two going to the peak. Let's do two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets in that same space. Sorry, I'm going faster because it's repeat. Chain two. So we're going to go into that second chain here and do our two double crochets I will go back to pink and do a third row just so you can understand completely show you the color change again I'll, I'll be no I won't be going back to pink because I'm doing two rows of every color so I'll do another row in white chain two and we're gonna go into that second chain here And do two double crochet, chain two, and we're skipping, and we're gonna go into that last, the top of the um, of the chain three, which is kind of hard to see. It's right, right there, right there. You want to pick up both the loops. Make sure, and every time you're doing this, I probably should have said this a lot earlier. I apologize. Just keep in mind, mind now. You always want to pick up both the loops, the front and the back loop. You should know this. This is not for beginners because um, I'm not showing you how to do a double crochet, but you want to pick up both loops of your um, double crochet. So you do the one. You do one double crochet there. Chain three. We're not changing colors, so we're just going to turn it here. And it's kind of squished on that first one, but it will, it will unsquish. Don't worry. So we're skipped. So now you see three holes. Panic! No, don't panic. Skip the first hole. Skip the first set. We're going to go into that second chain. Now, an easier way from the third chain, excuse me, third row on, is just go into that the top of the second double crochet, which is right here. Also, it's the second chain. One, two. So we're going into that second, top of the second double crochet and doing two double crochets chain two and we're going to go over here to the second one and do two double crochets 
Maybe I'll slow down on the next one so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Chain two, we're at the peak, so I don't need to slow down because two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets, same stitch. Chain two. So into the top of the next double crochet of the row below, into here. Chain two. So into the top of that double crochet of the next space of the row below. Two double crochet, chain two. Now we're at the valley. So now it's starting to make a little more sense here, I hope. Oh, look what I did. I did a chain two there. And I have to rip it out. Pausing here. Okay, so we've done our two sets there, and we're at the bottom now of the valley. So we don't chain here, but we skip two and go into the top of, um, no, I'm saying, like I'm starting I'm talking about the shovel chain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so <laughs> we've done our two sets here after the shell. And this is the area where the bottom of the V or the valley, and we're going to skip that. And we're not going to chain, and we're going to go into the second um, chain of the next space here. So basically, if you look at it, um, I'll throw one more curveball at you. This chain, the beginning chain, is considered the row below because we would be we're normally working into here, right? Um, and we do do that on the end and on the beginning, kind of, but we're working on the row below. So that will make more sense on the next row, and I will show you more what I mean there. So the reason we, we didn't do any chains there again is to pull that together. And that kind of wants to bunch there for a minute, but don't worry. Don't panic. It's supposed to do that because you want this to be um, close together. And I always kind of give that a little bit of a cinch there after I finished that second set of the V-Store going up the other side. So now we can do our chain two and go into the second uh, chain there and do two double crochets. Chain two. Now we're going into the top so we can do two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets in the same space, which is the shell. And now we're going to chain two and go back down the other side. So we're just repeating. We're going to that second space. I had done a row and then messed up and had to undo and go and fix it. Okay, so we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, go to the next space, go into that second one there, two double crochets. And then you're going to come to the end, you're going to chain two. You're going to come to the end, you're going to see the space and go, oh no, I messed something up. No, you didn't. You did nothing wrong. So we're going to go into the top of the chain three. So there's one, two, three of that turning chain. So we're going to do one double crochet into the top of that turning, turning chain. And make sure you don't do like this and pick up one stitch. You want to pick up both loops, the front, whoops, the front and the back loop of the turning chain. Sometimes I have to get one on and then the other. Okay, so there's the front and the back loop right there of the turning chain. I hope you can see that. Yes. Okay, so we do one double crochet here. And the reason that we do one is so, because we want it to come up straight up that side and we don't want it to, to go blop over. So we're going to do chain three because that's our turning chain and we're going to turn it. So we're going to um, chain two, and on this row is where we're going to go onto the row beneath. And you see the second double crochet in the second space. We're going to go into the top, into the top of that second double crochet. So you don't have to count anymore. Just eye it and go into the top. You could do two double crochets in the top. Let me zoom in. Oh, that double crochet. 
and we're going to chain two and we're going to look for the top of that other that next double crochet opening space there and do two double crochets there and we're at the shell or the peak so we do two double crochets in that space right there two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same space and that forms a really nice peak okay so in the next space look for the row beneath and that second double crochet go into the top of it and do the two double crochets chain two into the top do two chain two and now we're at the valley so at the valley we don't want to do anything around these stitches so we are going whoops i chained two again i did that in the last one i had to undo it i'm so sorry so when you come down the valley and you have two sets don't chain ignore what i just said okay so you're going to do actually you're going to double crochet but we're going to skip all the way over here so go past the valley which there's two sides to the valley just like on the row before two sides of the valley and we're going to look for that second double crochet on the row beneath over here so we're going to do two double crochets in there and i will show you how cool this looks let me do a little bit more so it lays flat so chain two look for the second um double crochet and do two there we just finish it chain two go into the peak space oops two double crochets pick up my drop stitch chain two two double crochets chain two get some more yarn and then we're going for that second one and you'll get to where you don't even have to like really i mean you're looking for it but it's it's repetitive so go on to there okay so now you keep doing that through your whole afghan and we're going to pretend this is really long and wide okay so now you're at the end of your afghan at the end where you change from the pink to the white okay so you're two at the end here and you're going to chain two so this is where you're going to change colors because you did two rows of the white so see where the colors meet so you're going to do a double crochet right into the top of that so just pick up these two loops and start your double crochet where you start it like this but you don't finish it because you're changing colors again and then i will change back to white or yellow pink oh my goodness it's late um and finish that double crochet with a new color drop the tail chain three two and three and pull on the white to cinch that down turn it so remember let me zoom out a little bit don't panic when you turn when you're at the end you're going to see three spaces so we're going to double crochet in the top of this space here we're going to skip this go into the second one into the top of the second so we're going to go into there like that chain two and turn and then you just continue on in that manner so let me zoom out move the toothbrush and lay it out for you and you can see it taking shape see by the third color change I think I said third row but by the third color change you can really see it start to take shape and it's really really neat so let me lay out my afghan again and I can point out this part right here the bottom of the V and just show you what I mean okay so I've laid it out only half of it because the other half isn't fitting so it's up against my bed but as you you can see it's just a dramatic look and to me it looks exactly like Mary's. It probably isn't, but it's my version of Mary's beautiful afghan.
which by the way in the last episode she sold for $75 I was like oh, I wish I was there so I, told, so I would have bought it but I wouldn't have paid her so cheaply that's my opinion because work hand work takes a long time so I am um let's see one two three I'm on my fourth row and I'm only on the the first of the last colors and then I go to white and then black again to to um to change it but um so there's my beautiful feet um, but then you can see how it just really, really looks good so let me um, open up my tripod so I can point out a couple of features to you sorry because now you can see the tripod leg but you should still be able to see what I'm going to talk about okay beautiful I love cameras okay so right here um, that is the peak. So you see how the next color looks easier here. You can see how you're going to the top of that peak. You're doing the two, two double crochet chain, two, two double cro crochet. So it forms the top of the peak. Right here, let's go into the blue again, is the valley. So you see how you're doing the two and then you're skipping over two and then you're going two up and that creates the valley. So that is how you make my rendition of Mary's beautiful afghan quilt on breaking amish and i really really hope that you have enjoyed this complete video and if you have any questions um please let me know if you have any um other things um colors you've done in this and you want to show me i would love to see your colors uh, i already have ideas for what i want to do for my next three um yeah so we'll see this has taken me um about two weeks so far so not too bad not too shabby i mean i can do a row of two of you know which is two colors so two rows in about 20 minutes so if i worked at it continuously it'd get done pretty fast but i have a life to lead so anyway i hope you enjoyed and i hope you liked it please 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 give it a thumbs up like it and share it and comment below thanks so much for watching Bye bye